And today's episode, soundproofing with green glue. Hey, we're talking today about soundproofing and one of the products that we really like to soundproof with called Green Glue. I'm here with Bill Blaylock. Bill, you're the owner of Concept Electronics and Bill and I have done a bunch of soundproofing jobs together before. Bill, I know you've been a Green Glue fan for longer than I have even. Tell me about this product, how it's installed and why you like it. Bottom line is I think it offers the best value for the money. If you pay attention to the details, you install it correctly, the result is really, really great. We can get up to 58 dB worth of sound reduction between rooms. Man, that's fantastic. It is. Tell me about the basics on it. How does this, how does this product work and how does it reduce the noise? Well, it's meant to be used between two layers of drywall. Mm -hmm. You put your first layer up on the wall and then you caulk all the seams around it with acoustic sealant. Then when you're ready to put your second layer up, you put your green glue on that layer. While it's on the ground, you use two tubes per four by eight sheet. Mm -hmm. You put it in a, on a random pattern, just squiggly lines all over the place. And then you stand that sheet up against the first one and screw it down and that kind of squishes it in. And that's what makes it do what it does. And so why is it different than, let's say using silicon caulk between those two sheets or PL400? Well, as green glue starts to set up, it firms a little bit, but it always stays flexible or viscous, as you say. Mm -hmm. What that does is the flexibility in that allows it to absorb and reject or dissipate energy. And that keeps it from going to the other side of the wall. Yeah, so let's say when that first layer of 5 eighths vibrates a little bit from that noise in the room, it then heats, hits that green glue in between those sheets. And it, we want to make sure we use the proper amount. We don't want to go light on the green glue then that vibration is really going to be stopped with this dampening compound, correct? That's correct. And you actually used a word that is proper in the dissipation of that energy, which is heat. And the green glue ah. turns that vibration into heat and it just goes away. It's very, very tiny, almost microscopic heat, right. but it still is the property of dissipating energy. Now, there's a couple things you need to know when you're using green glue. Uh, number one, you can buy it in two different forms, correct? That's correct. You can get it in quart tubes like this for smaller jobs. Uh, it works just fine. It's a nice clean installation. Or you can buy it in a five gallon pail like this and you use a speed loader. Gotcha. And you just use that. You just suck it up in there and then you apply it and then put the drywall up. And when you do it in the, uh, in the bucket form, what's the big reason to do it in the bucket form? Well, it's about 25% less expensive that way. Oh, that's great. That makes a difference. And yeah. probably less trash too, frankly, because you're not throwing these quart tubes away at the end, right? That's correct, yes. You can always wash out the buckets and use them for whatever you might, might, might use a plastic bucket for. Yeah, that makes sense. On this wall behind us that's getting prepped for a green glue install, tell me about the process of actually installing it. Okay, well, the first layer of drywall is up now. Mm -hmm. Next thing we'll do is, like here, we'll caulk all the seams. We're using an acoustic sealant. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular one is made by Green Glue. Yeah, so Green Glue makes their own noise proofing sealant or acoustic caulk, but you could technically use another brand, correct? Another brand, there are lots of brands, yes. And actually show me what you're doing on that and talk me through that when you're, when you're caulking that seam here for me. Okay, um, it's real simple. As we put this on, we wanna make sure we apply plenty of pressure in that because we want that acoustic sealant to actually push back into the crack. Got it. And we can apply it nice and heavy because we're going to put another layer of drywall on top of it and that's just going to help it smush into there. And so it's doing kind of two things for us. We're making sure we're sealing off the air transfer, correct? That's correct. And then it's also providing some dampening as well. And I understand this one also won't dry, that's right? That's correct. Yeah, so it's not going to harden like we were using a construction adhesive. That's correct. Okay, so now that that sealant is done on all four sides, we've done that to the plywood subfloor to the ceiling sheetrock and both walls, what's the next step? Next step is to lay the next layer of, of drywall down on the floor, and then if you're using the speed loader, you apply two tubes of this to a four by eight sheet of drywall. On the back side. On the back side. And, of it. and is that any particular pattern you need to follow? Just a squiggly random pattern. We yeah. wanna make sure we've got plenty of product back there. What would happen if we used too little? Let's say if someone used one tube per sheetrock. You might get about 70% of the desired effect. Okay, so if you really run a budget and you could only afford one tube, it's going to help you, but you're going to lose some of that value by not doing it as, as direction state. You are. Lastly, I noticed, for instance, on this wall here that we've got an outlet on that wall. How do we deal with that outlet? Well, first we drywall one side, the side with the outlet, and then we go from behind it and we caulk around that junction box. 
Also, we wrap that junction box in a putty pad that seals it up so that it can't let air or sound through to the other side. Yeah, super important. Any air transfer between rooms is going to negate your soundproofing job, correct? It's really going to hurt it. Even an eighth of an inch hole will damage the effect. Yeah, that's great. Bill, thank you so much for your time, for your expertise. It sounds to me like Green Glue is a great product and really is a great value. Any last minute tips for someone who's about to do a Green Glue install themselves who's watching this video? Well, be careful with it. If you work clean, that's great. If you get it on you, wash it off while it's still wet, it comes off nicely with water. If it starts to set up, it's very difficult to get off you and your clothing. Yeah, basically don't wear your beautiful uh, Concept Electronics branded shirt because once it gets on there, that shirt's trash. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is a lot of fun to talk about soundproofing. Such a hot topic out there. If you want more information, visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. You can also check out my soundproofing playlist on YouTube. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time.